in the educational research literature on schools, there has been a history of chronicling and documenting what is wrong with them. And that's particularly true of urban schools, schools that are filled with poor people and people of color and marginalized communities. I sort of thought, isn't there another lens that we can use? We'd be able to document a very different reality if we looked at what was strong and worthy about it. Portraiture is a social science methodology, part of a qualitative realm that I have pioneered for many, many years. So we don't just want to take this expert distant perspective where we come in for three days and then we say, this is what's wrong and these are the remedies. We really want to understand deeply how the people in those environments are experiencing their world, how they're constructing their reality, how they're responding to the broader cultural forces around them. And so portraiture allows us to do that. So the Good High School, it was, I think, pioneering in its effort to capture the culture and character of these schools in a new way that was much more holistic. It is such an alive methodology and narrative. People can take themselves to that space and can feel themselves identified with it. Part of what portraiture hopes to do is begin that dialogue, is to provoke people to see themselves as implicated in the work and want to do something in relationship to it. Every fall, I get letters from principals and teachers who say, I got the book for Christmas, right? I read it and I'm looking at things differently now. You know, this has given me a new kind of perspective. <laughs>